Hey guys, Tyler here. Welcome back to Understand, the amazing puzzle game about using creative thinking to figure out the rules and using puzzle solving to solve them. We're on World 9. It's a challenging world. It wants me to go from circle to star to square. Circle to star to square. Circle to star to square is no good. I don't know, do I have to pass through this strangely? That's okay. Does it have to be not symmetrical or something? Or does this work? This works. That works. I, I don't know what they have in common, but I'm sure they have something in common. All right. Well, what if I draw this line again? So, I mean, it's the same line as this. Now, there's a star up here. That one's okay. Could I have done that on this one? I could have. I'm, I'm not sure. Is uh, strange, acceptable lines. All right, this only has three of the rules. Here's what I want to figure out. Rule one, start with a circle. Rule two, end with a square. That makes sense. I think rule three is hit all the stars. Makes sense to me, at least. Rule four is the weird one that's unique to this world. We have to figure out in what ways we can hit all the stars. What's so special about our star path? Do I have to go something like this? Like, e even if I don't get rules one, two, and three, that gets rule four. So maybe it's about how the line leaves the star? Could be. Like, this one's just as good. Strange. So this is going to get everything but rule three, which I'm pretty sure is get all the stars. <gasps> oh, that's rule four. Okay, I mean, I'll see this through not having learned too much. I mean, the only thing is that I didn't go straight through any of the stars. Maybe that's it. Maybe this all the stars have to be on a corner on the line. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of, but it, it could make sense. Oh, I could probably do corners into each other just like that yeah because the corners don't have to start or exit outside the star it's just every star needs to be at a corner that's cool just uh don't mess that one up oh i already messed it up oh god <sighs> find the line so i think i have to go from one of these stars directly to the middle star kind of like this but then this one's not isolated because i could start like this maybe i mean it's a start but I don't end on the square. Um, let me change this up a little bit. Hold on. Change this up a bit. This could work. Yeah, there we go. Finding the zigzag corner lines. It is a star on a corner, so it makes a little sense. All right, another weird zigzag. How else can I zigzag this? I mean, that's reasonable. And it seems that that's no good. But this completes rule four, so maybe I need a bit of a zigzag here. You need a zigzag in some way to complete the level. That's not a zigzag, huh? You zigzag. Kind of? You spiral? Listen, zigzags. Oh, that's not a zigzag. I mean, it is, but it isn't. But that is. Well, I mean, I guess each of these are corners again. Yeah, but so are each of these. Just kind of happened. Zigzags, but what kind of zigzags? These are weird ziggity zaggities. I mean, this one's fine. You complete rule four, not rule four, not rule four. Maybe there's like a maximum amount of bends the line can have. Like this is four bends. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven is not four. And in fact, this star, oh, wait. <laughs> this one hasn't been solved. <laughs> uh, never mind. It could be four. Yeah, four bends. Okay, I, th I think that's it. One, two, three, four. Four corners on the line is what's needed. Dodge the circle? Is that a rule here? Well, star to star is important. I can get close. Oh, what the? This does not isolate rule one, but this does. It's not often that I draw the same line, but in different directions and get different rules. So. I don't know what's changed. All I know is that there's one bend and we're avoiding the circle. Yeah, here you can't really do that. Here's two bends avoiding the circle. It's a counterclockwise bend. You know, it's it's bending counterclockwise. Maybe that's important. Honestly, it might be counterclockwise. I can do this counterclockwise. They're all making left turns. It's NASCAR, baby. Now, this. There we go. Yeah, NASCAR. All right, level four. All right, uh, right turns only. Probably. Maybe. Definitely not. Okay. Experiment a little. Oh, that's fine. Does not have to start an, or end at a star. That's okay. 
if I go other way? Okay, this one's really hard to fail unless I don't get all the stars. So I feel like get all the stars is rule one, but it doesn't have to be. There's not enough information here otherwise. Well, I covered all the squares. Maybe that's a rule. So this is not okay. Is this not okay? This is kind of bad. That's okay. That's rule two, rule two. Not rule two. It seems like I can't pass through a star in a straight line, but didn't I do that already? Wasn't that already a puzzle? Well, I mean, none of the stars are being passed through in straight lines. They're all, again, corners or... But they don't have to be corners. It's more like just the inverse of straight lines. So anything that isn't straight line through a star. That's what I got so far. So something like this. No, we got a straight line here. There we go. Um, this one seems easier to manage. They just making sure we know the rule. And then here it's also just making sure we know the rule. Oh no. I don't know the rule. F darn it. <laughs> I hate to see that. I thought I had it for sure. What if I draw this line? All right, the entirety of a line does not have a single three part section of a straightness. It is the opposite of straightness for sure. So this and this violate the rules of the line. So I'm hoping I can fix that fairly easily. Hopefully it's not too tricky of a puzzle, but we do have to hit every star and that should work. Yeah, so the whole line cannot have three in a row. Makes sense. All right, well, again, this isn't gonna give us much except that not hitting every star seems to be kind of bad. And hitting that empty, well, is sometimes okay. Maybe I have to hit all three stars in a row, no empties in between them. Just the, well, uh, that's out the window. I drew this line again, can I do that? Can I do this? No. Yeah, I genuinely don't know what to make of that. Odd. I was hoping this would help me, but it probably doesn't. What if the only places you can have a bend in the line are stars? Yeah, you can only bend at stars. Do you have to bend at a star, though? Mm, doesn't matter. Well, it probably will matter. Right now, it doesn't, though. I think you just have to bend at stars. Or at least the only places you can bend are at stars. So, solving these aren't too bad. You just pick the two ones that are the odd ones out, and you kind of roll with it. Yeah, this is a lot of stars. So, if there's any ambiguity in my understanding of the rules, it's going to come out right now. I think as long as I don't bend it and empty, it should be fine. Thing is, though, if I do a straight part of the star, that's okay. Yeah, you can only bend at stars. Very neat. There's no stars at all. What a bait. I can't believe the game would do such a thing. I don't know. I separated a circle and a square. No good. But they're symmetrical. I don't think this is symmetry land. Just a hunch. Yeah, but creating identical empty sections for them to exist in is sure interesting. Hey, the stars being introduced, and the triangle too. Who knows what I'm supposed to do with these shapes? Separate them. Oh my god, why is this getting me so far? This makes me nervous, dude. I'm doing stuff I did in a previous puzzle, and it's working. Hold on. Rule three. Oh, that one's okay. You can keep shapes of a kind together. What the hell? Ah, crap. I feel, okay, do all the lines have an even number of bends? Here, let's see if the line has four bends. Now, that does complete everything but rule one, and rule one feels like don't touch the shapes. Could be wrong, but I feel like the line has to have an e even number of bends. I don't know what the other parts are, though. I think it's a little bit more than just an even number of bends, huh? Mm, the thing is, there's a lot of unstandard rules here. Because usually we have some sort of standard, all right, start at a circle, end at a square sort of deal. And that does half the rules, but that doesn't exist here. Why? <laughs> Why? 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 I don't know, man. There's still part of me that's like the number of bends in the line is important. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, shit. Ah, that's not a good number. The rest of you are even. I don't know, man. I do the crazy spiral thing and it kind of just works out. It's everything but rule four. Rule four is a funny one. 
would have thought like this. Everything but rule three. Let me change it up a little bit. How about one of these? Rule three again. I think all four squares need to be together in the same empty. I can't verify this, but just a feeling, you know? What about something like this? C. There's something about the empty space itself. It feels like a hallway. I don't know if there's like a practical way to define this, but it feels like a hallway. It's narrow, it's got bends, like it'd be pretty hard to rotate a sofa around this corner. <sighs> There's just something about that, but it has nothing to do with the line specifically that I drew, which is worrying me a little bit. But I feel like keep the shapes apart and keep the other shapes together in some sort of strange hallway. Whoops, I didn't keep them all together in the strange hallway. How dare I? So, what if my hallway has like a T section? That's okay. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna keep with the, separate the shapes and have them be in a ha hallway. I don't care. Let's, let's just live in a hallway. Oh, it's not a hallway. It's a two by two here that isn't hallway like. So what if I start more here and then draw the same line? And I'm crossing my fingers that this is fine, except I had to make sure all of them are connected. That's the tricky part. It's like that. Oh my God, it is the hallway. <laughs> it's the hallways. It's beautiful. All right, nine, seven. What a strange section. Cover the square, don't cover the circle. Whoa, cover the circle, or don't cover the circle, cover the square. Feels like this section has a lot of different themes. Seems like the circle has to have a before, or sorry, the square needs to have a before and after. No, it doesn't, it just needs an after, I think. So, don't cover up the circle, cover up the square. The square needs an after and the line needs a bend? No, um, the, the, the square does not need an after. Uh, the line needs a bend. The line needs a bend. The line needs a... Uh, I don't know, maybe it needs two bends. Maybe it needs three bends. Oh, no. I mean, I guess I gave the circle area a two by two. Like, maybe this is fine. Two by two. Well, that's not two by two-able. Yes, it is. It's two by two-able. It's two by two-able to an extent. Hold on. It looks something like this. That's not fully two by two-able. Oh, cheat a little one by one and three by three. Doesn't really average out though. What if the circles have to be on the corner of their square? Can't say for sure though. It's just going to be very tough to draw. <sighs> this isn't the right... Da, da, da. So it's close though. It's very close. It's extremely close. It could look something like this. And I mean, possibly. No. Another weird idea. Two conjoined three by three squares. I don't know. Don't touch the circles. Make sure the circles are all in the same area. Something to do with squares and something to do with the circles being on the corner of the squares. Oh, do I cover squares? I do cover squares. Maybe it's like the anti-hallway. So maybe something like this is fine. Um, maybe something like this is fine. Um, so hear me out. Exactly. So let's uh, cover up the squares and let's try to make the anti-hallway. I honestly think that this almost works. If this wasn't covered up, I honestly think it would work. Yeah, that's rule four. It's some weird anti-hallway. Like it's a combination still of two by twos. And this is a weird combination of two by twos. I don't quite know how to put it into words, but there's some sort of feeling about it that I can just kind of relate to shapes-wise. I'm just trying to draw this shape. It has to be drawable, I'm sure of it. No, it's absolutely not drawable. I don't know, we could try this weird anti-hallway. I didn't think that'd work. Maybe this weird. I guess an anti-hallway is called a room, huh? Oh, 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 here's an idea for a room. What about a room that looks like that? Ha ha ha! They're at corners of the room and they're kind of made of two by twos. Ah, oh, geez. All right, we got to make a really strange room. Welcome back to Roomcraft, everyone's favorite game. This is somewhat room-like. But I still think the, cor the circles being in the corners of the room is kind of important. What if I'm supposed to give up on the room theory and classify it in a different way? No, it can't possibly be. Avant-garde room. 
otherwise known as a hallway. Shit. Alright, it's finally time to backtrack and figure out this rule for once and for all. Rule one is simple. Hit all the squares. Rule two, avoid the circles. Rule three, I think is keep the circles together in the same section. Rule four, chaos. Like, that's fine, but this isn't, you know? Could it possibly be the shapes can only have lines to two sides of them? AKA, would this sort of thing work? No, because it breaks rule three, but it satisfies rule four, which is now my new theory. Each circle can only have a line on two sides of them, and maybe has to be exactly two sides for that matter. So let's try it. Two sides here, two sides, two sides, and then two sides. Darn. What if I go like this? That's okay for rule four. What about this? Not okay, but this would have worked. What if I did it something like... Like that? That ugly son of a bitch? I still feel like it has something to do with two sides. Like what if a full corner of adjacency to the circle has to be filled for every circle? I could do it like that. But this isn't really a full corner. At some point I have to do this and then that? Oh my god, the full bend around each circle. So this circle has this bend, this circle has this bend, this circle has this bend, this circle has this bend. That has to be it. It's just hard to do, but, you know, when push comes to shove, I will get it done. Let's go. That's the rule. Holy crap. Tough one. Good one. Feels good to get done. All right. All I know is that we're covering up all the space, but maybe we don't have to. Maybe we have to. Maybe we definitely, probably maybe have to. But it also could have something to do with, like, separating the squares. Well, what if I kind of... What? Why? Why? <laughs> oh, God. All right. Well, maybe I'll learn eventually. The time for learning is now. Well, actually, I could probably do it in the same way as I did the previous one. Ha, huh, funny joke. Not going to pretend like I get it. All I know is that though the squares, they're sectioned off into their own sections, but their sections touched by kitty corner. Can't I do it like this? Wow, yeah, it's different sections, but they touch by kitty corner. I genuinely feel like that could be it. But then the, you know, it fails because there's this empty, these empty sections here. Let me try it like this. Beautiful. Yeah, kitty corner touching. I don't know, I feel like this shouldn't be too hard to draw, but here we are. How about that? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Again, they share a kitty corner. I genuinely think it's the kitty corner strat. This isn't too bad so far. We're off to a decent start at least. We're off to a decent start. Can I clutch up? It's so close. It's just you. Um, this is probably gettable though, actually. If I just start like here and draw the exact same line, I think I get there. Okay. Good for me. Let's go, kitty corners, 9-9. Nine, nine. All right, circle to circle is all I know. You can do it in a lot of ways. I assume avoid the square is a rule. Yeah, rule two, I bet, is avoid the square. And rule one is get every circle. And then rule three is the weird one. Going the long way is no good. There's only so many ways I can do it. Can I get extra? I can get extra. How far extra? Not too far. Again, it feels like only one full corner around the square. Anything more is kind of bad. There's no square. Is it possible to lose this one if I hit all the circles? Yeah, it is actually. What? So that's not okay, but this is. Oh no. Which rules is violate? Violates rule three. Rule three is the complicated one. Rule three is what I don't know yet, and I will keep cheesing it until I lose to rule three. Hmm, but this is no good. Damn, I can't say for sure. <laughs> can't say for sure. And I really should be saying for sure now, damn. I don't know, what if there has to be fewer bends than shapes we collect? Three bends, three shapes is no good. 
This is two shapes, one bend, one bend. Like, I don't know, fewer bends than shapes collected. There's three bends here. Ah, oh, but this is one, two, three, four, five bends. And this worked. So that's not it. I have absolutely no clue. Uh, there's only so many ways I can do this. Surely one of them will stick out. Oh no. Oh no. This is useless. Hold on. Does this work? Maybe I can investigate a little. That works. Does this work? Interesting. Oh man. It feels like I just got to have enough bends in my line to get these circles. You know, I got to do something like this and then uh, that's probably no good. No. Uh-uh. Maybe the number of bends theory is still valid somehow? Whoa, hold on. Hold on. This line is good, but this line is not. So it's not about orders of the circle? What if it's that there can only be one bend of the line in between circles? And uh, the reason why something like this would fail is because there's a bend after a circle and maybe bends can there can only be one bend directly in between circles because this is fine there's no extra bend what if it's about that at most one bend is between circles and yeah that that could be it oh my god i think that's it now the thing is if there's like zero yeah if there's no bends in between circles that's bad so there needs to be at least one so that's that's fine i can manage that Like this. Let's go. Exactly one bend in between circles. All right. Final level of world nine. Circle star square. Um, Start with the circle. End with the square. Okay. That's rules one and two. Rule three. I think you got to hit the star. Who knows if it's one star. Who knows if it's all of them. And then rule four is the messed up one. That satisfies rule four. This satisfies rule four. Rule four. But that's a yes. Rule four is the hard one. I'll see how long I can keep this up. At some point, it's going to tell me no, like now. But there's not many ways to do this one, so I think I'll just kind of keep letting it go. That's rule three for you. Uh, rule, okay, so I think we do need every star. We do need every star. That's rule three. Rule four now, who knows? It's the meat of the puzzle. Okay, so this is rule four happy. And of course, that's rule four happy. But this one's not rule four happy. So, rule four. Rule four, man. Rule four. I can't say. Maybe this will help? Oh, no. I mean, there's only so many ways you can do this one. Is it possible to hit every star and fail here? Okay. If you get the first three rules, you can't lose this one. Maybe that's just my golden ticket. That's all I really need. The rest... You know, the devil's in the details. We don't need to mess with the devil. Let's just try to mess around you know know the first three rules say screw the fourth rule i don't care about it i kind of care a little bit about it because i'd feel kind of bad if i solved it by accident no i can't be that lazy don't be lazy solve the puzzle <sighs> i mean this has one bend maybe maybe it's not about the bends maybe it's about the number of straightaways what's some way about the draw of the line that I haven't considered yet. I mean, line length five, line length five, line like seven, line length six. Again, that's a lot of different numbers. Okay, I could cheese this level hardcore. <laughs> you wanna know how I could cheese this level? Hold on, let me solve this first. Listen real closely. Rule four? Not rule four. <laughs> I really could. Oh, that's okay. That's okay as well. We're getting somewhere. What about up here? And I think that's the line. Shit. I think I should find the rule. <laughs> uh, the days of cheese are over. This is the only way from this position to not satisfy rule four. What is special about this line compared to literally any other line you can draw coming from this? Man, I tested so many rules for the fourth rule. I found nothing. But I think I'm going to return to this in the morning and see if I fare any better. 
This is two days later, Tyler. No, I have not been playing this game for two days straight. I just haven't gotten back to it. But I booted it up. I stared at this for maybe five to ten minutes, and I think I got it. What a dirty, dirty rule. I, I don't know if this is it for sure, so I might be embarrassed at the final level. But here's how it works. From the perspective of each star, you consider the straight line that comes out of it. The line from both directions, respective to the star, must be the same length. Now this line ends at a bend. So here is a line like the one until there's a bend. Here's a line like the one until there's a bend. And it matters here because this would be a line length of one and this would be a line length of two. But if I did a snake like this, it would be a line length of one for both. That's the only thing that I could possibly fathom that this rule is after trying so many different rule sets on the previous night I played this. But I think this is it. And that's um, the reason why you can't do this here because this is a length of two and lengths of one You got to break it up in a, quite a few ways You know as long as it's a length of one from the star and that holds true for all of these And it's especially noticeable here one and one and two and two and two and two and It's just insane. So I'm hoping that is correct for here And I feel like this is gonna be a bunch of two lengthers, but we'll see I suppose let me try it like this. So two and two, two and two, two and two. Then I want to do a one and one. No, because this one's not going to work. Hold on. I think this two and two could work. And then I could do a two and two here and a two and two here. And then a two and two here. And actually, this might work. No! <laughs> Unless if I messed up somewhere. Son of a bitch. Damn, I thought I was on to something. Well, hold on, hold on. There actually still might be merit. Because it's not... The distance between the stars is the distance I was saying to the next corner. So this actually might be a two and four on this star. Wait, my rule might still hold. This could just be a two and four. Two here, four here. That actually, hold on. Let's, let's see if I can try to fix that then. <sighs> two and two. And then a little bit of a, uh, how about one and one? Then one and one. Hold on. One and one? And then two and two! Yes! That's the rule! <laughs> I can't believe I finally got that. Wow. This was the hardest one I've solved for sure. Undoubtedly a tricky puzzle and it feels good. I'm confident that's the rule. There is nothing else it could have been and I'm sure of it. I've tried so many things. That's the one. All right, now I'm rewarded with a kooky and crazy question mark section. Oh, it's simple. Just go circle, circle and avoid the squares. Um, can I go through the squares? Well, who knows? It seems that rule two is avoid the squares and rule one is circle to circle, but there will be plenty of rules revealed. Why is it fading away? Is it <laughs> <laughs> is it gonna turn invisible on me? Is it, it gonna become an invisible puzzle? Do they really just witness me? Oh! <laughs> yep. I've played a couple puzzle games before. So I gotta use these things to help me decode where everything is. So, that's a square. No square. Square. Alright, so it's something like this. Okay, I don't understand the first rule then. Oh, wait, no. There's a square here. Never mind. I do understand. I just didn't notice. So, it's something like this. Oh, there's a s doable square up here. Okay, I, m clearly my data gathering sucks because I didn't even notice that this was a non-square zone. Well, this could open a lot. Length of five. Length of five. And then, well, length of six. Son of a bitch. Oh, there's mul there could be multiple circles. These could all be circles for all I know. This makes sense. Yeah. All right. And now this, I forget if I've said this in a video. I've said this in commentary, but I don't know if it's made it to a video. There's this little thing where the game will make a different noise if you're completely wrong or partially wrong. Listen. Actually, you know what? I think it was actually during 9-10. So I think this was pretty recent. So that's the sound of no rules. And that's the sound of one rule. So this is a square, this is a non-square. Non-square, square, non-square, square. square. So basically, in basically all the squares are two apart, they're social distancing. Square here, 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 and here. So all I need to do is just draw some line involving the remainder of the squares that works. I do need to trial and error for this, but I'm gonna try to cover as many 
of the sections as possible. So let, let's go about it in a organized way. So this will be the first one I try and then I'll connect it to this. We can start here, go to here. Uh, it's just a lot of guessing and there we go. Like we, we knew the subset, we just, it, we, would, we would figure it out eventually and there we go. I got it. I solved an invisible puzzle. <laughs> Could not see anything, but by understanding, I did get it done. So that was section nine. I genuinely thought I'd have to skip nine, 10, like I did four, nine. And don't worry, I'll return to that eventually. But I did conquer it. Well, the next worlds are only gonna be harder. I'm excited to see what the future holds. Keep an eye out for a future episode. And I'll see you guys all there. Peace.